Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan here back with another one bringing to you a new video. So once again here, I'm talking about the Amazon Fire Stick and we are talking about Death Squid, which is this app that we have on the screen. But we have Death Squid over here and basically what happened is now it's prompting us for a unlock code. And I spoke about this app a number of times on the Amazon Fire Stick, mainly because it is a phenomenal app that allows us to manage our apps and force close them or uninstall apps very easily, which promotes less buffering, your device is more responsive, and you can do the things that you need to do on your Amazon Fire Stick very quickly. So with that being said, this is the message that we're seeing. It says here, enter an unlock code here and it basically asks you for a code before you can even use the app, which is definitely a downside to this app because I'd rather just download an app, open it up and start using it right away. So with that being said, if you're looking for an app that will force close your apps without entering a code, you will want to use this app, which is background apps and process lists. You just download it, open it up, it immediately shows you the apps that you have running in the background and you can force close them one by one. But this Def Squid, you may be scratching your head, so why did they change things? Why did they have an unlock code? So let's go ahead and check this out and see why they changed things. All right, so I'm looking into why Def Squid changed things, why they want to add a unlock code to the Def Squid app, and let's take a look at this. So I immediately rush over to their website, which is devsquid.com, and it says here, speed up and protect your Fire TV and Android device. So let's scroll down here and we'll go down and it says here, get your Def Squid code. And from what it looks like to me at first glance, it's looking like they want you to subscribe now. Basically put in your email address, your personal email address at that, and then subscribe to get a code. So um, I think that's highly unnecessary. It's too much for me to even uh, use the app um, but luckily I have burner email addresses I can just put something in here and go ahead and get my code because it is a very useful app so I probably will still use the app but unfortunately you know it's it's a, too much for a lot of people um, so let's drill down a little bit farther into this so they have frequently asked questions down here and it says here is Death Squid free and it says, yes, Death Squid is free and you don't need to pay anything for it. Um, also on the right hand side, it says, why do you need a Death Squid code? And it says here, you need a free Death Squid unlock code to get access to all Death Squid features. We made this because we saw some people are trying to sell Death Squid, which is a free service. So I understand that um, to a certain extent. So, I mean, it's a free app and you're trying to prevent people from selling it so you're requesting that they go to the website to get your code which confirms that it's free for everyone so I mean that's pretty clear straightforward so um, it makes sense but feel like it should be a lot easier just to get the code versus subscribing so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the email address go ahead and subscribe and get the code and we'll jump back to the Amazon Fire Stick alright so once we put in our email address to get the code it says here thank you for subscribing we sent you an email with your free Death Squid activation code with further instructions it says here your email should arrive in about two minutes if it hasn't it says here check your spam bulk or junk mail all right so this is what the email looks like this is what it will look like to you basically it says welcome to Death Squid it gives you a brief overview of what Death Squid is and then it gives you your code down below in the middle of the email all right so we're back here on the Amazon Fire Stick and I did receive my code in my email and I went ahead and typed it in already and it says here enter code and I just clicked on that and so I went ahead and typed in that code and that code is NT7C7K9K. Of course your code is going to be different than mine but just for testing purposes let's test this code from this video to see if it works for you. See if it will let multiple people in so we can try to see if this code will be more universal or if you're going to need your own unique code. So just let me know down in the description below what your experience is and then we'll go from there. But other than that I'm going to go ahead and click the checkbox and let's see if it advances us in. So it says here feature unlocked and now we can click OK and now we have full access once again to force close our apps 
and go ahead and make sure our device is running at tip top speed. And as you can see, I do have quite a few apps running. So I got Plex, Crackle, Apple TV, Peacock. I got a bunch of apps running in the background, which is definitely taking up a lot of my speed on my Amazon Fire Stick. So definitely go ahead and do your monthly cleaning on your Amazon Fire Stick, force close your apps. That way your device can run smoothly. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.